Hi, my name is John Beyer, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make copies of your CDs and DVDs using the Roxio Creator 9 program. But before we get started, there are a few points I want to go over. First, let me say that the Windows operating system does have the ability to make copies of your CDs and DVDs. Unfortunately, the procedure is not very clear and can be confusing to new computer users. It's for this reason that we recommend that you use the Roxio program instead. Another important point is that you must use the same type of copy medium as your original disc. For example, if you have a plus R DVD that you want to make a copy of, then you must copy it to another plus R disc. Also be aware that you cannot copy CDs onto DVDs with this program. Another thing to remember is you don't want to use optical media that are slower than the write speed of your CD or DVD drive. What this means is that if you've got a 12x DVD drive and you're trying to write information to an 8x DVD disk, the disk can accept that fast speed because it's only rated at 8x. What you will need to do is either get 12x media to match your 12x speed drive or slow down this write speed of your disk to match the slower speed of the media that you have. This is very important because sometimes you will write a disk at 12x onto a CD that is rated at 12x and it won't work. You'll get a disk that you cannot read. If this happens, it is recommended that you go into the Roxio program and lower the speed that you write the data to the disk, let's say 8x, and then try burning the disk again. Frequently, this will result in a successful burn. If it doesn't, you might want to try different brands of disks in your CD drive because some drives don't like or work very well with some brands of disks. So now that we've got a general idea of what you need to be aware of when you start copying your disks, let's get into the program and see how you actually do it. First we must launch the Roxio program. So we'll click on Start, move up to the Programs section, and select the Roxio option, and finally click on Home. This will launch the main Roxio program and bring us to the Welcome screen. From here, we'll move the cursor to the Copy Disk option on the right-hand side and click it. This brings us to the main screen for copying CDs and DVDs. In order to copy our CDs and DVDs, we'll have to go through a few simple procedures. First, we'll insert our original disk in our CD drive. Then, we'll click the little red button in the lower right-hand corner, which will initiate the copy process. During this time, the computer will copy all the data from the original CD into the computer's memory. At that point, the computer program will stop and request that we put in a blank disk. And then continue the copy operation and it will take the information from the computer's memory and write it onto the disk. From there, it will do a verification of the data and we'll have a fresh copy of our original disk. So let's try that. I've already inserted the original disk in my computer, so I'm going to come down to the little red button and click it. As we read the data from the disk, we'll see a progress bar on the bottom of the screen. And a message will come up indicating that it's time to remove the original disk from our drive and put in our blank disk. So let me do that now. Okay, I've replaced my original disk with the blank disk and now I'm going to click on OK to continue the process. Again, we'll get a progress bar at the bottom 
indicating the write operation as we copy the information from the computer's memory to our newly inserted blank disk. Once the program has finished, you will see the following screen. And if it contains a green check mark in the upper part of the window, it means your copy was made successfully. So, making a copy is pretty easy using the Roxio program. If you have any other problems, refer to the help section of the Roxio program for additional information.